Ooh, today we're not doing GSAP. Boo, I know. But we have to spice it up a little bit because I'm burning out here with all the GSAP. I have a few projects on GSAP on the testing side, but until then, we have to do some other things as well. This is something that I have been requested to do. So I think it's still pretty cool. It's super simple to do, but I think it's interesting. And again, it's going to add that little bit of je ne sais quoi to your website. So let's get started. All right, so I will try to move as fast as possible because this is an easy video. I will do the basic stuff implementation, but if you want to skip to the part um, where I do the actual effect, I will have timestamps in the description. So I will add two containers, one top, one bottom. This is just to add some space. This will not be needed normally if you have already content on the page but I want to add something to have a little bit of differentiation. So I'm gonna say 50 VH top and duplicate this and it's going to be the same. And in the middle, we are going to be adding our container where we are going to have the carousel. So let me simply set this to full width. I will set the height, I would say, let's say 35. Um, and we are going to adjust this. Uh, let's go and drop in a um, an image carousel. You can add whatever carousel you want in here. It will work with any kind of carousel. So I'm gonna say image carousel and let's, let me just move myself because you don't see what I'm doing. Boom. So I am going to add a few images and this, this, and this, and this one i think this are enough i guess uh, maybe this one as well and this one they all need basically uh, in practice you all you have to have the same height for the images otherwise it's going to look wonky so i have selected about six and there you are they are selected so i'm going to change this to full so I have them uh, pretty big. I will say also slides to show three and slides to scroll four. I will not have any arrows and dots and that's about it. So I'm going to go to additional options and I'll just say no to autoplay. I don't want the autoplay to autoplay. Infinite loop, yes. And this is very strange. It seems like I'm missing some elements here in additional options. So normally you would have all these things in the image carousel. I don't understand what's happening. All right, I'm going to publish it. This is not really important. I will also go to style and give the images some space. And I will say, I think I will leave it at 25 and vertical align. Let's have them all to the center or huh. it seems like this image is not the same size. So I think I'll be removing that. Although on the black is not going to look wonky, but it will look wonky in real life. Ooh, uh, okay. So it's this one. Okay, we are removing that. And let's go to style. And they all seem... Okay, so we're going to remove this as well. Content. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Four are more than enough. So I'll publish this. And now, in this container, yeah, I'm going to be adding two HTML widgets. So this is one and I will move it on the top. We're going to start with this one. So let me bring in my SVG shape and the SVG shape is has been converted to code. As you can see, this is the code. So right now it's black. You don't see it. But if I remove, let's say you can see it, I will leave it this color for now. So you can see how it moves on the page, but we are going to change the color. So this is where you will have to move the color to change the color. One second. All right. So that's the only place where you have to change the color. That's it. 
anyway let's go to our html and uh, html widget advanced and go all the way to positioning so we're gonna set this to be position absolute and now it disappeared let's set the offset horizontal to be zero percent and zero percent here and let's go to width and set this to custom so i'm going to set this to be a hundred percent as you can see now uh, our uh, shape is behind the images we're gonna fix that but if you don't set this to custom then you're gonna run into the problem that you will not find it on the page so bear that in mind all right and set the index to be two in this case i'm gonna set it to two and it's all good i am going to leave it like this and i am also going to duplicate it so duplicate and i'm going to move it at the bottom basically at the end and with this i am going to change the vertical orientation to bottom yes it looks the same like the, uh, the top one but what we can do is go to transform go to rotation rotate whatever and set the rotation degree to be 180 degrees et voila <laughs> i mean pretty easy right so the only thing that we need to do right now is simply change the color so i'm gonna set it set it again to i think it was zero yeah uh this is the black that i used it's not really black black kind of black so yeah so let's see how it looks on the front end okay this is pretty bad black so let me see i think it was a different i might have to add another b yes and here as well all right publish so basically it needs to be the color of the background so it blends in otherwise you saw how it looked it looked a little bit off and look at that and now when you move it it gives you that effect of 3d how cool right uh so this basically works on any carousel so let's see if we add some motion to this so i have added some movement to this carousel and how cool is this it moves uh -huh. i freaking love it this is such a great effect and yep this is fantastic all right so i also have this uh, carousel this is the image carousel and this is just a plain carousel so how cool this is just an example that you can add this to any carousel it's super easy to implement right if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time Bye.